example 6. Reservoir A is at elevation 90 meters above the atom, furnishes water to a 600 millimeter pipe which leads from A to the junction point J at elevation 30 meters which is 600 meters away. At junction J, there are three pipes that must be served, leading respectively to reservoirs B, C, and D. The pipe leading to reservoir B at elevation 75 meters is 200 mm in diameter and 300 meters long. The pipe leading to reservoir C at elevation 52.5 meters is 300 mm in diameter and 450 meters long, while the pipe leading to reservoir D at elevation 30 meters is 150 mm in diameter and 900 meters long. At A, 600 mm diameter, 600 meters long, B at elevation 75, 200 mm in diameter, 300 meters long, C at elevation 52.5, 300 mm in diameter, 450 meters long, and D at elevation 30, 150 mm in diameter, 900 meters long. Assuming the friction factor F.024 for all pipes, determine the following. Discharge to reservoir B, discharge to reservoir C, and discharge to reservoir D. So it is clear in this problem that only A will supply all these three reservoirs. So the flow directions are as shown. So the equation is Q1 equals Q2 plus Q3 plus Q4. Where Q is square root of head loss, <coughs> diameter to the PIF over 0 0.0826 FL from previous problem 5. So the piezometer level is between A and B and we will call the head loss energy grade line. We will call the head loss in pipe A as HF1 which is H. Since A and B are 15 meters vertically apart, the head loss in pipe 2 is 15 minus H. HF2, 15 minus H. HF3, 90 minus 52.5 is 37.5. So HF3 is 37.5 minus H. And lastly, 90 minus 30, 60, the head loss in pipe 4 is 60 minus H, HF4. So substitute into Q1 equals Q2 plus Q3 plus Q4, where Q1 is square root of H diameter 0 0.6 to the fifth over 0 0.0826 point times 0 0.02 times 600. So this is Q1, H diameter to the fifth over 0 0.0826 F length 600 equals Q2. Q2 is square root of quantity 15 minus H, 0.2 to the fifth over 0 0.0826, 0 0.02 times 300. Plus Q3, square root of quantity 37.5 minus H times 0.3 to the fifth over 0 0.0826 0 times 0 0.02 times 450. And lastly, Q4 plus square root of 60 minus h times 0.15 to the fifth over 0 0.0826 0 0.02 times 900. So although you can cancel 0 0.0826 and 0 0.02, but let's just leave it this way so that all these uh, decimal formulas, decimal equivalent formulas will be the discharge, actual discharge. So simplifying 0 0.0801 square root of h equals 0 0.02541 square root of 50 minus h plus 0 0.05717 square root of 37.5 minus h plus 0 0.007147 square root of 60 minus h. So simplifying, so solving for h using by trial and error, h is from 0 to 15 then left should be equal to right until you get the value of h or using the high-tech calculator h is 2.9185 meters so substitute here because this is q2 the discharge in to reservoir b 
So Q2 is 0 0.0254, 1 square root of 15 minus 2.9185. Q2 is 0 0.0883 to cubic meter per second. Q3 is 0 0.05717 square root of 37.5 minus 2.9185. It is equal to 0.336 to cubic meter per second. Q4 is 0 0.007147 square root of 60 minus 2.9185. So Q4 is 0 0.0540 cubic meter per second. All these are inflows to the respective reservoirs.